that they performed on. Uh, it's 17 minutes before the hour of 7 o'clock. We're with you until 8. And uh, we've got a world-class musician here, great guy. He's uh, all the way in from New Jersey on this Monday night. Uh, he'll be coming to Connecticut, double duty, performing uh, this week in Connecticut at Porter's. Guitarist for his own band, the John Hickey Band, and lead guitarist for Bernie Worrell and the Woo Warrior. So, John, finally great to see you yeah. after you know, a couple of years haven't seen you, but uh, thanks to... Yeah, it's it's been, an honor, man. It's been a minute, but you know, thanks yeah. for having me up here, man. Yeah. It's cool. So, uh, Down With The Ship, outstanding record. Been getting oh, thanks. A lot, of, uh, a lot of great reviews. Now, uh, putting this together, tell, tell us about you know, the, getting a solo record, the, the uh, idea to do this. Well, so, you know, solo records are always kind of daunting task because you, know, you kind of got to... It's really on you to do it all yourself. I mean, as far as the the writing and the arranging and, and all that stuff. Um, when I st- actually a lot of these songs, um, I started before I was with Bernie Worrell and the Woo Warriors, mm-hmm. and uh, I was just kind of hanging out with those guys. I got the idea. I was like, you know, I could probably uh, I could probably put something together, you mm-hmm. know. So just went ahead and uh, you know started off kind of inconspicuously. That's not even a word. It is Star- now. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it started. It started off. You know, uh, like uh, I just kind of was like uh, um, thinking about. Oh, I'm just messing around in the studio and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And then uh, one day I just decided. I was like, oh, I think I'm going to try and do something with this. Right. So. Yeah. Down with the show. And I know. Uh, I mean, you work. You work. Started working with Bernie doing engineering and sound yeah i mean and I think just, he told me he goes man we didn't even know we played guitar and then you just you're you're an amazing guitarist yeah. yeah bernie bernie likes telling that story <laughs> right right so so uh, you know i guess we'll go talking about you know your induction in the woo warriors and uh we'll re- go back to the uh, early days of playing guitar okay was you, bernie on the mark with it or is it just uh yeah i mean I, I've been playing uh, guitar for a long time uh, when I met Bernie, but it's true. When I when I first went out, a friend recommended me to go out and just kind of be an all-around, you know, tech and driver and, you know, whatever, sound man, you know. The modern-day brick row. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically just, what you know, whatever whatever has to be done to, you know, keep the party going. That's what mm-hmm. we do. And, uh, right. So then, um, you know, he says that he... Uh, he uh, heard me play in a in a music store or something, and you know heard me playing. Came over, but mm-hmm. um, you know I I'm a musician, so when I went out on tour with him, I brought my guitar just to mess around and practice and stuff. And you know I li- I really like the the music, so I just was learning how to play it all. And um, you know when the uh, when the event prevented uh, presented itself, I uh, kind of just stepped in and took the role. Right now, uh, you took the role there. And a night that I saw you first play was uh, over at uh, the Ninny Factory, and uh, you recorded some of that. You and Flash on, on double guitar yeah, right there. Yeah. yeah. Tell tell us about, you know, that night or recording some of the nights on that tour. Um. Yeah, I remember. I remember that night. That was. Um, yeah, we were. Uh, let's see. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Right. Um, yeah, basically, the Knitting Factory is a real, I mean, as you know, it's a real small stage. Right. And yeah. I think, I think in fact, that night, uh, Greg Fitz was on the floor. Yeah, there was exactly, a, right. There was a small stage, right. and he decided he wanted to set up on the floor. But, uh, yeah, playing with, uh, playing with the Flash was cool. I mean, he's a, he's a real showman. So right. uh, Where is the Flash? Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's <laughs> unknown, right? It's a, yeah, I guess right. a location unknown at this right. point. Um, he's up in Woodstock, you know, doing his own thing right. from what I've heard. But, uh, you know, that night my impressions were, you know, we were hanging out with you guys before the show and saw the show and everything. And you, you did the show, and it, it seemed like it's always chaotic, you know, yeah. oh, a lot of things going on in New yeah. York in the band, a lot of yeah. stuff, and it was a smoking show. And here you were right after the show amidst all this chaos, man. You're you're working on the sound and all yeah. focused and everything, yeah. and, and that impressed me. And oh, you know, thanks. how <laughs> difficult is that to, uh, you know, make sure keep it right? Well, I mean, y- you know, it's it's like um, when you go out with a band as a tech like that. There, um, you know, your primary responsibility is, like I said, just keep the party going. You got to make sure everything is. Everything is cool for the musicians, and everything sounds good, and everything. And mm-hmm. um, you know, once I once I got a handle on that, once everything's cool, then that's that's when I get to pick up my guitar and you know go, yeah, go play. And uh, you know, luckily uh, since then I've uh, outgrown that role and uh, <laughs> been yeah. uh, you know promoted a little bit. So yeah, John Hickey, of course, uh, has his own CD, Down with the Ship, and also is the guitarist with Bernie Worrell and the Woo Warriors. This week. Uh, 
some 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 big shows coming up. Uh, you've got uh, Friday at Porter's. Yeah. It's in Westbrook, Connecticut. Yeah, it's Porter's Tap Room in okay. uh, Westbrook, Connecticut. So the John Hickey Band. Yep. And then uh, you go right in there, and Bernie Warwell and the Woo Warriors. Yeah, pull, uh, pulling double duty. That yeah, night. Who, who's playing in your band beside yourself? Uh, in my band, um, I have uh, Greg Fitz. He's a uh, okay. Daffy. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> He yeah. uh, he's played with like Bootsy and Quasar and Sly Stone and just yeah. he's played wow. with everybody basically and um, I got his sister Sissy okay uh, Sissy Fitz is uh, singing vocals and uh, on uh, drums we got Troy White and uh, on bass we got William Perk per year okay he plays in uh, yeah. Funkin right? yeah, he, yeah he plays in Funkin and right. and a couple other things too so okay so you'll be able to hear that uh, you see John. Wow, through the whole night, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and by the way, go to his website right now, jhickeymusic.com, J H I C K E Y music dot com. He's our special guest right here at WVOF in the upper room with Joe Kelly. What's up to Camilla? He's listening out there in Montreal and uh I know he'll enjoy this. We're gonna go with uh, the means of production. Cool. Yeah. The kickoff track and <laughs> man, it's smoking. The whole record is on it. We'll talk a little bit about, you know, you you uh, having such great you know talent with all different kinds of instruments yeah. but uh tell us about choosing this one to lead off the record um i, I don't know it just sometimes it just had that vibe some songs have the vibe like you you know if you close your eyes and you picture like the beginning of a, a, a show on a big stage and just kind of you know you can't just jump into it right in the mm-hmm. beginning you got you got to like kind of put a little teaser out there for people and just kind of get people's heads moving and stuff right so that's where that came from. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully in the set coming up this Friday, right? Yeah, that yeah. that may that may very well be the yeah. first song. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, John Hickey, and it is the means of production. And this is WVOF eighty eight point five FM in Fairfield, Connecticut. And uh, want to let you know the Scarecrow Collection. Just heard they're playing at the Monkey Bar this weekend in Danbury. What date is that? 16th of April. So uh, thanks to AJ. Check out AJ Sharon and the Groove Wednesdays from 6 to 10 p.m. So thanks a lot, AJ. All right. <laughs> Crazy day so far. Yeah. yeah. Nice guy, AJ. Actually, he, he dig the John Hickey band. I know uh, cool. he's got a great show as well. So that's John Hickey down with the ship, the means of production. And uh, great record and you know you're playing just about you know i was listening to the cd a few weeks ago um and man i'm like okay i know you have special guests on right, it, but i was right. like okay who's on this track playing right. keyboards i'm like fitz isn't playing it. <laughs> bernie's not playing it. john's gotta yeah. be playing it how'd you get so adept at uh so many different instruments and which was the first instrument you, you took a gamble at guitar i mean uh-huh. I'm, a, I'm a guitar player i'm not gonna you know pretend like i can play all the drums and keyboards and all that stuff but uh you know it's uh you know playing instruments like anything else you can get bored with it so uh you know i get you know a little bit bored with the guitar so i figured out you know i'll just start messing around with the keyboard a little bit and uh you know when you when you start a new instrument it's really cool because the first week the first day you play it you learn something new Mm -hmm. and the next day you play it you learn something new and you're just learning new things and getting better all the time where if you've been playing an instrument for 13 years 14 years you you may you know you don't necessarily get better every day so when you when you pick up a new instrument it's like the um, immediate gratification of of learning something new on it so so you're playing drums bass keys yeah singing and guitar on the record yeah Yeah. you know how how do you do you write straight up on guitar um generally i do actually this album most of the majority of the songs i wrote on keyboard on this album just because um like i said i was just going through a keyboard phase at the time so it started off with you know keyboard and then i transferred a lot of stuff over to guitar and you know i kind of found that something interesting happens when you do that it's it's really easy to get stuck in a rut playing the same kind of guitar and sounding like other guitar players so if you write things on another instrument and then transfer them over to guitar it gives it a different perspective you know okay so so uh guitar wise wh- what are you playing on stage recently what kind of guitar um i got a fender strat it's a uh, 57 reissue so it looks okay. old but it, do you play that blue guitar it's a uh, seafoam green it's, oh okay, it can green, look okay. blue depending yeah, on the lighting right, right. <laughs> I remember that yeah so so uh john will be performing with his band john hickey band and uh also playing guitar with bernie Worrell and the woo warriors yep friday night porter's tap room in westbrook 
and you can go to uh, jhickeymusic.com. Already people instant messaging us. Cool. Checking out your website. So hey, I got a question. Yeah, sure. Can we give some stuff away? Yeah, we can, we can do that. Yeah. yeah. What do you want to give away? Um, well, there's a couple of things, but let's give away a CD first. Okay. So, so. Uh, John Hickey uh, is going to give away the CD, Down With The Ship. And our phone line's here, 254-4111, 4111 If you're on campus, 4111 for uh, free John Hickey, Down With The Ship CD. So Cool. We should give people a taste <laughs> of, uh, or they can instant message us at AOL, uh, WVUF885, because we got a uh, pretty big uh, listenership online. So that'd be cool. Nice. Um, why don't we go with the title track, Down With The Ship? Sounds good. Yeah. Tell us about working this one um, for the record. This one started off, like I said, it was a keyboard track. Um, in the beginning, I did a lot of stuff on computer just with the samplers and uh, um, that kind of stuff. And um, I just replaced the the synth instruments with, with real instruments one at a time and mm-hmm. had uh, Gary Sullivan uh, from the Crow Mags, and he's playing oh, yeah. with T.M. Stevens now over in Europe. Oh, right. Had right. him come in and, and finish up the drums on it. So T.M. Stevens plays on uh, one of the tracks as well. Yeah, he yeah. played... Uh, yeah, T.M. Stevens on another track. Mm-hmm. Right. So we'll get into this right now. This is John Hickey down. That is the title track, Down with the Ship, from our special guest. And he's here today without his magic hat. <laughs> <laughs> the hat got stolen, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, the, okay. hat, the hat is no longer. <laughs> right, right. So so when you're playing a w- with a wild bunch of characters like Bernie Worrell and the Woo Warriors and the P-Funk Mob, yeah. got to have kind of a it, crazy... How'd you decide on the hat? It, um, it was funny. We were in um, Albuquerque, and mm-hmm. um, we had just finished the sound check, and me and the bass player for Bernie at the time, Brett Bass, okay. uh, we went to this costume store, and we were just going through looking at stuff, and the uh, the owner was like, um, the owner was like, oh, you know, go ahead, just take whatever, you know, you can... You can have whatever, and uh, you know if you're gonna wear it on stage. And I was like, oh, really? I was like, grab, you know, grabbing stuff. But I saw the hat was this, that was the stupidest looking hat I could find. So I, that's why I picked it. Somebody's got the hat. Yeah, somebody has the hat, right. and um, I hope they're putting it to good use. Right. <laughs> so you got to get another costume. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I, I, I would like to. I mean, in fact, somebody offered me a couple hundred dollars for that hat once, and I and now that it's gone, I should have taken it. I think. Right. Right. <laughs> Well, well, John Hickey's band's outstanding. The CD is is great, and uh, Porter's Tap Room Friday. We'll be giving away a, a pair of tickets for our listeners if they want to come check it out. It's in Connecticut, probably about what thirty minutes from here. Yeah, it can't be that yeah. much further than that. And uh, John also uh, performed uh, on the record uh, with Freak Bass, who's playing the same night at Sully's Pub. Yeah. Now, now, what was that like? Because uh, that was um, that just kind of happened. It was one of those freak things. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were. Putting down some tracks uh, with the Woo Warriors at Bootsy's studio in uh, Cincinnati, and we had, you know, we did a couple hours there, and then at the end, Bootsy was like, he wanted Bernie and Greg to go over to this uh, this guy's house, and he's like, oh, you know, you should take your guitar player too. Right. So uh, we went in, and uh, it was Freak Bass. Uh, I'd never heard of him. It was the first time I met him, and we just kind of, you know. Bernie did his thing for about a couple hours, put it down a bunch of tracks, and then uh, he gave me a pass at a song, and and you know it just uh, felt it just felt right to me. So, well, I mean, you're a young guy, and you're talking about all these guys who have legends and still still working right. and performing. Right. W- was your hobby upbringing musically? Where where did what what did you grow up? Um, I um actually the first instrument I played was uh, the violin, mm-hmm. and uh, I did classical for a bunch of years. Um. Which is which is cool because that that was something that um, that I, I was able you know to kind of see in Bernie and understand where he was you know coming from with that and uh, but um, I started playing the guitar and I actually started acoustic guitar first so I was like listening to like Neil Young and mm-hmm. people like that and right. then uh, then I heard Hendrix and uh, and that was yeah, that you were sold. <laughs> yeah that was that <laughs> and then, you know I still play acoustic but you know I went out and bought an electric guitar after that and yeah. So, so, do you ever lay some Hendrix songs in, in your uh, in your band? No, you know we haven't we haven't really done it in this band, but uh, in previous bands, I've I've definitely played my fair right. share of Hendrix. Now we were talking off air about you know Bernie and the band and the, some of the loose feel to the band as far right. as rehearsal and everything. Right. But when you when you get on stage with that as a guitar player, now you're the lead guitarist. There, there's not another guy playing guitar. Uh, well, there right? is. There, there wasn't is? for a long time. Now we have this guy. Uh, 
Scott Free, okay. who uh, plays with, uh, who's played with Bo Diddley, okay, and some and a bunch of other people, and so he and I are, are you know, sharing the uh, the the uh, lead guitar spot. But he's a uh, he's a great vocalist too, so he's stepped up and, you know, re- really handling the vocals too. Yeah, but I mean, you get a lot of time to really showcase your playing oh yeah yeah. i mean there's you know we play a lot of shows and some nights there's i mean some nights there can be a lot of a lot of soloing so Uh (laughs) you know it's kind of it's always um it's always uh kind of pushing me to towards the end of the night i'm like all right i've already said this and this and this and this in in the ways i normally say i'm on guitar and then it's time to you know come up with some new stuff so I mean, Bernie's got his great solo music, and you know, right. hopefully one day the the solo studio album will come out. We're yeah. still we're still waiting all the <laughs> yes. bumps in the road. Yes, but, uh, um, for for P Funk fans, the Parliament sound as opposed to the Funkadelic sound. Right. Do you get a vibe from the crowd talking with them and seeing what songs they feel? Is there some kind of division with it's, with some of it? Yeah, I mean, there there definitely is, and and people have um, pe- people you know seem to to prefer one side or the other but you know to me i i enjoy both it's funny people somebody's told me oh you're more parliament than this and but for me it's uh like with bernie you know it's it's really that funkadelic it's a rock band i mean Mm -hmm. you know when people think of funk they kind of think of that the lighter and you know the lighter kind of just like jazzier stuff but when you see like bernie's band it's just it's like a rock band and that's what funkadelic was it was a rock band right and uh hope you guys you know <laughs> keep going for a long time yeah. because there, there's so many moments when we see you guys and you know a lot of goosebump moments and right yeah. well you know it's that f- all that funkadelic music for me playing with bernie it's like it's like playing playing it's like being a classical musician where you instead of like making your own music you're given this perfect piece of of music w- which you can interpret and that mm-hmm. funkadelic stuff for me is like that it's like the songs are, are incredible so you know, I just do you know do my best to try and you know do justice to him. Right, John Hickey, right here on the upper room with Joe Kelly and WVOF. Uh, we'll be giving away a pair of concert tickets. John's been kind enough to uh, make it available to our listenership uh, for Porter's Tap Room Friday night in Connecticut, Westbrook, Connecticut. Only a half hour down the road, and uh, they'll be there performing. John's been. What time are you going on? Uh, Roughly. we'll probably be on about nine thirty or so. I okay. would imagine. Okay, and then uh, followed by. The Woo Warriors and yep. sure to be a party. Oh, you definitely. guys have played there before. Yeah, yeah I've played there yeah. with Bernie. Right. So, so you just played. Uh, we're gonna play something now from uh, a live show. John Hickey Band. Tell us about this uh, CD. Yeah, this. Um, well, we're right now. We're in the process of uh, recording our live CD because you know once the studio album, once you get a band behind it, they really kind of bring the the music to life in ways that you didn't really think about. Um, but this song we're gonna play is actually a, an old Quasar song. Um, this is going to be featuring Greg Fitz on uh, keyboard and vocals, and you know Quasar is just one of those one of those bands that you know if people don't know who they are, they really should because you know the music's incredible. Right. So uh, we'll send this out to uh, we'll send it out to the One Nation crew. Yeah. Funkhome.com. This is live music from John. H- yeah, it's standing live music Funk right there. With a capital G. Don't even have to say the song title because <laughs> Greg Fitz said it. And uh, you heard the guitar in there. This guy can definitely play the guitar. Outstanding guy. Real nice guy, too. John Hickey. And uh, that, that was in New Jersey, you said? Uh, that was uh, down in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. There's this little little club we play down in New Hope called John and Peter's. And okay. it's uh, it's just a lot of fun to play. You know, we get a lot of people out, in the, it, and it fills up, and it's just kind of like a big party. And uh, we've, been, we've been multi-tracking down there, and we're going we're gonna to get a live album out sometime this summer, hopefully. Yeah. So you got the great studio record, and it's available at jhickeymusic.com. Also, funkstore.com? Yes, yeah, it, yeah definitely, the funk store. Right, and uh, a lot of, you know, you're modest about your playing and everything, but a lot of people dig your, oh. your music. <laughs> and you could just go to John's website, jhickeymusic.com. Great pictures up there. Yeah. I know, Brooke, uh, David Brooks uh, yeah, he's took some me shots. Up. Yeah, And uh, guys. Citrus from P-Funk gave me a bunch of really great pics right. when, when I was out with P-Funk, so... A lot of good, a lot right. of good P Funk picks on that site too. Well, uh, John's been kind enough to uh, want to give away a pair of tickets to go see himself and his band play uh, Friday night at Porter's Tap Room. Also, uh, Bernie Worrell and the Woo Warriors, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, uh, John's lead guitarist in the band with the Woo Warriors. So they're playing together Friday night, Porter's Tap Room, Westbrook, and uh, 
you know, they can dial in. Yeah. We'll take the first caller or instant messenger at uh, 203-254-4111, 203-254-4111 if you're on campus, 4111, and uh, online, WVOF885. We've got somebody who wants to ask you a question. Okay. I, I know this could be... This is probably a long answer or a general <laughs> question, but <laughs> right. uh, what, what do you like playing with Bernie uh, on stage? <laughs> That's a pretty general question. I mean, there's there's a lot of things. I mean, Bernie right. is um, – anybody that's seen Bernie live and had a chance to really kind of get over on his side of the stage and see him play keyboard, I mean, they just know he's you know, he's animated. He's an incredible musician. Um, I love about Bernie the fact that you never know what he's going to do. I mean, he's he's, you know – he just he goes off i mean he has one of the you know the probably um of ev- of most of the people that i know he has the most complete understanding of music i mean he has the ability to take a song in any any band or any recording situation and just elevate it to a whole a whole new height and not even by necessarily being flashy just by the layers that he's able to put in there with it it's it's really incredible i, I think a uh, a really uh testament to bernie's nice character i saw a concert way way but this is when uh, moon was playing guitar right and it was a live show the sono arts festival and it was outdoors and the sound was it was off you know as things were going haywire on stage right and bernie was the nicest guy at least on stage he wasn't getting on the guy who was just asking me to tweak this tweak that but other musicians probably would have like yeah you know throwing a <laughs> keyboard down or walked off the stage until they got it right but bernie was just uh, yeah, he's a real he's a real nice guy he's a real nice yeah. guy and in fact <laughs> i mean it's a stupid story but the first time I, I i just like it the first time i met him i you know he didn't even know who i was i picked him up at the airport and the first thing he said is uh you know he wanted to know if i wanted one of his peppermint patties <laughs> <laughs> so i mean he's just you know right. he's just a, he's a cool guy that's yeah. all yeah and you'll be able to see uh, John and Bernie this uh, coming Friday in Connecticut. And yep. uh, you just came off a show, Kenny's Castaway in New York with yeah. your band. Yeah. Played yeah. the Bitter End. Yeah, we played the Bitter End. Right. And we got another show there on the 21st of May. Okay. The Bitter and you End. You can go for all the updates, jhickeymusic.com. And uh, all this, you know, you've been on stage with George Clinton performing some of that stuff. Yeah. You know, I've that, the P Funk All Stars, I mean, Chaos, yeah. but it's sounding right. Oh, what, what's yeah. that like? That's crazy. That backstage, and well, you don't have to. Yeah, yeah well, put, <laughs> put the spin on that. We, we <laughs> yeah, we'll all know stay out of the there. back. We'll yeah. stay on the stage. Yeah, but but on stage, you know. <laughs> yeah, we all know what you have to do to get backstage with P Funk. So we'll, <laughs> we'll stay. We'll stay out of the back there. But uh, yeah, I mean, being on stage with them, I mean, I mean, they're not just a band. They're like a uh, um, a physical force to be reckoned with. I mean, just that many people on stage and that many layers and that many people adding their own personal touches. I mean, it's. Is it, it's just I mean it's really incredible. Um, when when you plug in your guitar, and you've got four guitars on right, there, do you give the sound person any no. idea about it? They just no, you know you, you, know, you just I, I was lucky um, when uh, Bernie first brought me out with them with P Funk, and um, Gary Scheider was uh, he, he was just real cool. He kind of you know he just came up to me and he said you know where's your guitar you know go get your guitar. I went and got it. He said, this is my amp. He said, you're going to play through this amp, you know, when I call it, you know, like when I ask you to come up, right. this is, you You know, don't worry, you'll be playing through this, you'll be fine. And, mm-hmm. you know, you just kind of plug in and you you, <laughs> you just rip. And when it's time to solo, um, you know, George will come take his vocal mic and stick it right in front of the guitar cabinet. So it's, you know, I just kind of got to play. I, I just play and, and everybody else, you know, deals with everything else. So, yeah. so you know, you're one of the best and play with the best. So that that's, you know. <laughs> Keep, yeah keep doing what you're doing yeah hey you know what john let's get into another track i dig off this record no okay. better all right and, and uh who who's on this particular one i know you got some special guests. yeah that one um has tm stevens on the bass mm-hmm. and uh that also has gary sullivan on drums again from uh Crow Mags Crow Mags. And yeah i you know i got a quick funny story about gary and the Crow Mags. I, I played one of the Crow Mags songs during an interview. This was several years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the listeners called up and thought something had gone haywire with the song, uh, the show, because, you know, Crow Mags is definitely a different yeah. tempo to oh, what yeah. we usually play, but, you know, it sounds great. <laughs> yeah, but he's like, what happened? You yeah. know? So the Crow Mags, uh, it's Gary puts a two, three song, boom, boom, boom. Oh, you know, yeah. The, he's, a, yeah. He's, he's an animal on the drums. Right, I right. went, the first time I saw the Crow Mags, I took my girlfriend and we thought mm-hmm. we were going to. Uh, 
we thought we were going to a funk show and because uh-huh. <laughs> we thought it was some other show he's playing and, and we show up and you know two guys walk out of the club with bloody noses and bloody faces and stuff and i was like oh here we go <laughs> you know this is in new york uh this was in new jersey oh okay yeah. right all right we'll get into this this is uh know me better from down with the ship mr john hickey all right that is live music actually not live music that's a studio uh <laughs> record right there from down with the ship mr john hickey guitarist john hickey also lead guitars with bernie warrell and the woo warriors so sounded great there oh thanks yeah john hickey band bernie warrell and the woo warriors and i'm sure it's an affordable price uh friday night at the uh, tap room westbrook connecticut and uh off i-95 or somewhere not too far yeah from not yeah. too far well what's it like going into uh different venues new venues for the first time uh, you know it's it's always that's always an experience because you really never know i mean you could be surprised in some of the smallest towns you right. get treated real well and real nice club and sometimes you walk into places that uh, aren't so cool basically right. And that's usually a one-time only thing, right? Well, <laughs> not necessarily. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> the dollar speaks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Necessity. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Um, so, uh, John Hickey Band, you're based out of New Jersey. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you guys play the real music, the real funk and roll. Um, how about, I mean, radio seems to be in short supply of that. What, what do you use to get inspired by other people's music? Um, it's, it's really cool. Since I've been touring, a lot of people just send me music. Mm-hmm. And... So a lot of times I'll either get I'll um, get CDs from bands that we play with or just people that come see shows they they just send me CDs and they say well this is something I I, I want I, you know I think you might like to listen to so right. a lot of this stuff I've been getting is a uh, you know I've been a lot of stuff I've been listening to has been just sent to me by other people which is kind of cool because you never know you know yeah, what they're gonna send yeah, exactly and you know kind of the crew that you run with there's all different kinds of collaborations yeah. you know oh yeah. yeah. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of more exciting things. Yeah, yeah. the live record. Um, you, are you recording every show? Uh, we're doing the ones that it's you know feasible to do. You know, right. it depends on how the club's set up and everything. But we're doing it as many uh, as possible. This one in Westbrook is going to be recorded live, so it's okay. you know there should be a couple songs off of that on the CD. Do you, do you set it up for recording? Or do they have uh, uh, a, there they set it up, but usually uh, we got a, a guy that comes out with us, Rob Crawl, that does a real real good job with okay. recording so he's right. our engineer so 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 the task he had originally with bernie warrell and the woo warriors some of them you know you don't do anymore right the the what setting up things and making oh it, yeah somebody yeah else doing yeah it right. i've been relieved of of a right. lot of those duties which right. is cool <laughs> yeah you can relax and just you know, play. but yeah. but like i said i'm the kind of guy you know whatever the part you know whatever the party calls for that's right that's what you got to do you know i gotta say what's up to swang from uh, Days of Wild, because oh, yeah. he, he emailed me the other day and uh, said, man, say hello to my friend John. I yeah. know he's coming on the he's show. So. Swang's cool, man. He's, yeah. He saved us a bunch of times down in New York City. He's, right. he's been there for us, you know. So do you go down to see a lot of people's shows uh, in New York um, or otherwise? I don't necessarily... I go out and I play with some you know, some other people in the city. Uh, occasionally I'll go out. I, you know, not as much as I should, but, mm-hmm. uh, you know, right. I, get in, I get in there every once in a while. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you brought a lot of great music and uh we should get into a another live rendition from john hickey band and yeah we got son for gamilia up in uh, montreal who's listening uh some live woo warriors uh, to go out but uh what do you want to hear what, what track off the live uh this is just uh this is a jam written by our uh by our drummer troy white and our bass player perk okay and uh yeah so it's just drum you know give the drummer some give the bass player some that's what this is all right this is uh live from the john hickey band john hickey band giving his players a little taste of a drum and bass flavor there uh john hickey band performing at the porter's tap room opening up uh with his own band and then moving right over to uh bernie warrell and the woo warriors rock and roll hall of famer and john hickey just as talented up there playing with them and (laughs) yeah thanks man yeah who knows when did this come out 25 years later yeah 2029 that's the rock and roll hall of fame for you yeah that would be nice wouldn't it (laughs) yeah definitely but uh you know your your own music uh down with the ship we got an instant message here i want to say hello to our folks yeah so they were digging your music right here oh cool yeah they love the beat yeah yeah so uh your own band you got fits in the band yeah daffy daffy Daffy. yeah crazy band right yeah he's daffy the the whole band i mean you know greg 
he put the band together when it, when it was time to get a band. He, you know, I was like, Greg, you know, let's get a band together to do the CD. And mm -hmm. he said, Don't. He's like, I got the guys. Don't worry about right. it. And you know, he he was right. He got them all from Plainfield, New Jersey. So that's, you know, that's that's where it all began. As far as I'm, you know, as far as I'm. So concerned, you grew so. up around that area, or not? No, I've been I've been everywhere. I've lived in Canada and Wisconsin oh, and Texas right. yeah. and, and all Edmonton, kinds of things. Yeah. But uh, I've been in uh, New Jersey for about eight years mm -hmm. now. And you get into New York as much as you can. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, John's been kind enough to want to give away another CD, Down With The Ship. There we are on the TV network. <laughs> we don't have a close-up there, but this is closed circuit TV. Right. Uh, Down With The Ship, you can uh, give us a call at 4111 or 254-4111. Uh, Outside the area, 203-254-4111. Also, you can uh, instant message us at WVOF885 if uh, you'd like a free copy of Down With The Ship. All right, so thanks to that. And uh, you've got uh, coming up some other dates. Yeah, I have, um, I have, there's Bernie Whirl and the Woo Warriors on uh, um, the 16th of this month, Saturday. At, I think and we got somebody calling in for you. So okay, cool. You want to take the call? Sure. You have to put on the headphones. All right, right. It's WVUF 88.5. Hey, what up, man? I want that CD, man. I know this guy. Hey, brother, what's <laughs> up? What's up, dude? Hey, how you doing, Mark? Oh, man. I, I thought that was Funkin' that was just playing. No, that was, that was uh, <laughs> actually, uh, to let John know, this is uh, the, the funkiest man who knows <laughs> funk in Bridgeport, nice, Connecticut. Nice. Oh, man, that's some bad shit, man. Well, I, t I tell you what, man, you know, you, it might have sounded like that. We got a uh, perk on bass, and, he, you know, he plays with Funkin', so... Uh-huh. So that's probably where that came from. Hey, hey, Mark, oh, we got we got you on the air talking. That, so that is so smooth, man. Yeah, so... so uh, So we're, we're going to hook you up with the John Hickey uh, down with the ship. Are you going to bring it by, or you want to yeah. mail it to me, man? <laughs> yeah, we could talk off... We'll, <laughs> I, I, I'll talk off air with you on that. But, uh, I'll get yeah, some you, gear now if you want me to. Man. <laughs> yeah, we'll be here another uh, 20 minutes. So. All right, I hear you. Joe, you going to drop it off, man? Yeah, I'll drop it off you. We, we got you on the air, Mark. Oh, you do? Yeah, so, yeah, we'll, we'll drop it off for oh, you. Oh, my goodness. Man. Yeah, so I think you're going to love this record. John, John can play his bow Oh, off. man, it sounds oh, they, they real good, man. Oh, thanks, man. Just bring it back, bring it back to fun like it used to be. You oh, know? yeah, you got to. You know, like it used to be, man. We're trying to make the old new again, you know it's, what I'm saying? It's unbelievable, man. Thanks. It makes me feel like I'm young again, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you're <laughs> still real, young. man. So, so how you been, Mark? I've been pretty good, man. Yeah. I've been here. I've just been, you know, being quiet you know yeah so so nice to hear from you and we'll get you that cd same same place same channel right all right baby okay thanks. all right hey thanks mark you guys be good man keep on funking y'all all right i will man you take care all right man okay peace <laughs> all right that's mark great guy from bridgeport cool he you know he, he knows all the stuff you guys good, do good. you know I can I can only speak about the funk in some ways, but right. that guys, he, he knows what time it is. So well, I'm glad he yeah. approves. Yeah, and hope uh, Mark and others can make it out to Porter's Tap Room, which is Friday night, and uh, get there early. And uh, they'll play till they t can't play no more, like right. a funk show, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, we're gonna go out with the song right now. We want to send this out to uh, Jai Tremblay up in Montreal, aka Camilla great uh, music lover of the funk and i know he loves this song bernie warrell and the woo warriors live woo together from uh the live cd which composed of a, a bunch of shows some of the best right mm -hmm. woo together yeah, now this goes far back in bernie's solo stuff right yeah I yeah yeah i mean this is this is classic sorry that's my phone hey uh, there you go i know i'm a popular guy <laughs> right it rang once in one hour that's horrible okay but uh, yeah, this is um, you know this is woo together. This is classic. This is classic Bernie. I mean, this is um, this you know the studio version of this song is awesome, and the right. live version you know is is a lot of fun to play. I, I know Bernie will sometimes. I've seen, or he's even said it in person that he doesn't like to sing, or he's not much of a singer. But mm. you know, he's got a unique style of singing. That's oh that's, yeah, that's he's great. Yeah, he's got you know he's got his vibe. You know, right. he definitely he definitely uh. You definitely know Bernie when you hear him. At, at the downtown, he was uh, serenading my wife with uh, <laughs> some old song he used to have, uh, Who Do You Love or something. Right. That I forget the right. name. It's kind of like a soul R&B right. thing. So you'll be able to hear Woo together. Now, you sing live with Bernie. Yeah. You know, we don't have Jen Durkin or whoever's up front, Dawn Silver. 
how is how does it work vocal wise now uh well right right now we do uh like i'll sing lead on a song or so and uh you know back up and bernie bernie does his thing you know he sings lead and we got uh like i said we got this guy scott free with us now and he sings he's a real great singer so mm -hmm. uh he takes a lot of the leads pretty much right now and donna mcpherson on bass she sings uh backup right. also yeah she's a great player great lady gotta have the chair for her there she yeah still play with the chair uh, you know what? I, I don't think so. I think uh -huh. she's a. Uh, I think she's a. Uh, you know, off the chair now. Okay, right. So Don is cool, and and you could check out John Hickey Band Friday night, and hopefully he'll be back here in the spring and summer. Bring your band by. Bring I'm, I'm Gaffy coming, or Bernie. Yeah, or, I'm coming back. It's gonna be a party. Yeah, bring whoever you want to buy. You know. Cool. So uh, we'll go out with this. If you uh, just tuned in and missed out on the early portion of the interview with John Hickey, we'll be airing it for three days and three nights at Upper Room with Joe Kelly dot com. And uh, please check out his website, jhickeymusic.com, H-I-C-K-E-Y music.com. Already instant message. Another person said they love uh, the song we're going to play now. So, you know. Cool. They'll be digging this. Check them out at Porter's Tap Room, John Hickey Band, followed by Bernie Worrell and the Woo Warriors. Plenty of time to hear John tear up it up on that six string yeah <laughs> should be nice yeah. yeah it's gonna be good i gotta get in shape for that night you gotta yeah that's right yeah <laughs> playing two shows like that yeah. you're the only one oh no fits right uh yeah yeah but you're up front yeah yeah right so all right and bring some extra money i'm sure john will have cds there for sale definitely definitely and, uh look forward to having you on the show again uh, thanks all a right. lot for having me i mean i appreciate it all right